Yoshko, congratulations. You're now officially a Manchester City player. How does that sound? Yeah, thank you. First of all, sounds good. Uh, finally, uh, I did it. We did it. And uh, yeah, uh, it's, it feels good to be part of this, this team. Tell us a little bit about the discussions that you've had with City. What is it that convinced you to, to come to us? Uh, it's, it's, it's just simple, you know, uh, especially, especially after the, the, the perfect season, I would say, uh, last season. Uh, I decided to, to, to join you and uh, yeah, to become one of you, uh, to learn from the best and of course to be coached by the, by the best coach in the world. And especially Kova at the moment is here. He joined as well, so it's one more plus. It was one more plus for me to join here and uh, yeah, happy to be here. You mentioned the, the perfect season last year. City were treble winners. It's the greatest season in the club's history. You played against us twice in that campaign. You also presumably watched us a few times. As an opposition player, what were your thoughts about the way that we play football? Yeah, I mean, uh, to be honest, everyone wanted to last season to avoid you as a team and yeah unfortunately we were the team who who got you in the in the champions leagues but yeah it we, we knew it is going to be hard and uh yeah it was just it was just unbelievable unbelievable the the way they play at home and uh, the atmosphere also the calmness on the ball it was just it was just a different level and uh yeah i said a couple of times that you you guys deserve it and uh yeah happy for you I presume as well, another bonus about signing for City is that you no longer have to play against Erling Haaland. What's it like to try and stop him from scoring goals? Yeah, it's, uh, we all know what he, he has done last, last season and uh, congratulations to, to, to Erling. Uh, it's nice to, to have him on the side. Uh, but yeah, last season and the season before in the Bundesliga, was, was, he's a tough player. Uh, strong, fast, uh, everything. He, he has everything to, to become one of the best in the world. And uh, yeah, uh, luckily uh, I'm on his side now and uh, yeah, I don't have to take care about him anymore. When you go out on the pitch, it looks as if you fear nobody. Uh, that fearlessness, is, is that something that's just you're born with and that's natural to you? Yeah, I would say it's just natural, as you said, uh, something inside of me, uh, which makes me in one way different. And uh, the good thing is that yeah, I'm not thinking about anything else when I'm on the pitch. You now I'm just focused on what I'm doing the best. And yeah, that's just me. You mentioned earlier that we've signed Kovacic, you know, another another Croatian. Have you spoken to him about this move? Uh, not really, because yeah, uh, I don't need no one to tell me to tell me to, that this club is, you know, every everyone knows and everyone uh, wants to be part of this club. Uh, so once you have opportunity, I'm I believe that everyone is gonna take it. So yeah, it was it was my decision, but also uh, we could go. I spoke with Kova about about uh, the team and uh, everything. He said that yeah, he really likes it and uh, that for sure we're going to enjoy here. Yeah. Kovacic looked excellent during the, the pre-season games we played in Asia. I mean, he, he barely gave the ball away. What can City fans expect from him as somebody who knows him well and has played with him a lot? Yeah, first of all, as a, as, a, as a person, he's a really, really nice guy and he's always here to, to help you. Uh, also on the pitch, is a fantastic player with amazing control and uh, I would say maybe uh, one of the fastest players with the ball and of course uh, the one who's going to give uh, his best uh, no matter if we, are, if we are winning or losing, he's the one who's going who's gonna to give everything on the pitch. You were absolutely brilliant at the Qatar World Cup last year. That tournament, I presume, will always be very special to you. Yeah, it was my it was my it was my first World Cup, and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna remember it my whole life. And uh, yeah, it was just something unbelievable. Uh, by the beginning, no one expected that we can go uh, until the end. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's just it's just the the the, the team we have in the national team, and uh, 
I would say similar to, to, to the team here, everyone is just giving 100% and uh, we are like sticking together all the time and that's the key. Yeah. You mentioned before about Pep Guardiola. I mean, we think he's the, he's the best coach in, in the world. I mean, how big a part of your decision to come here was the fact that you get to play under him and, and get coached by him and his backroom team? Yeah, uh, I'm the guy who likes uh, the challenges and uh, I like to experience something new in my in my career. So definitely, when I want to be to be coached and uh, by the best manager in the world, and uh, of course to learn something new to improve improve myself as a player and of course as a person. Pep's teams they like to keep the ball. It's all about possession and, and control. The way that you play the game, I think that's a nice, nice fit, isn't it? Is that another another reason you've come here because you feel like the style, stylistically, it fits with your game? Uh, I agree with you. It's the style, style I like, and uh, it's it's good that this is the way you play. Uh, definitely, the possession with the ball, and of course, that every team wants to wants to have the possession, but sometimes it's just it's just hard and. Uh, yeah, the one of the reasons why, uh, why I'm, I'm here at the moment, and uh, of course that um, that I hope that uh, this style of play gonna fit fit for me. Good. Yeah. I know that when you were younger, you worked on your father's fish stall, and that I know he is very, very proud of the career that you've had. But how proud are you of him and and kind of what he's given you and to get you to this point today? Uh, yeah. Um, of course, that uh, I believe that my parents are proud of me, and uh, I'm proud of my family because they they are uh, still uh, behind me and uh, like holding my holding my back and uh, being here for for me whenever I need them. So yeah, this is all for them, and I I believe they're enjoying now in Croatia, and uh, yeah, hopefully they're gonna visit me soon for one game. You spent 12 or 13 years at Dinamo Zagreb, which is a, a club in Croatia that produces fantastic footballers. There's, a, there's an amazing list of, of alumni that have come out of there. How valuable was your time there and kind of what principles did they install into you that you still carry today? Yeah, so I spent 12 years. I don't, know, I don't even know, but yeah, something like that. And. Uh, yeah, I'm really, really grateful to to the club there because uh, yeah, we know their qualities and uh, yeah, you just no one understands how is it possible that every every year uh, some new talent, some new big players' names. Uh, but yeah, that's just it's a, it's a big secret in there and uh, yeah, happy that uh, I was at one time I was a, a part of that club and uh, who knows maybe one day I will come back there. And then obviously you moved to RB Leipzig, which was uh, a big step up. I believe you've also had offers previous to that to come to the Premier League, but you decided to, to wait until the, the time was right. Now that you're here, what are you expecting from, from the football in this country? Yeah, I mean, uh, I expect a, a tough league normally. Uh, big names, big players. And uh, of course, uh, I'm here to to achieve a lot of things with this team and uh, to win as as more as possible and yeah I can't wait to 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 join the team and uh, learn from the best uh, I have to say that uh, yeah, I'm going to be surrounded by the world class players and uh, yeah it's a pleasure to be to be here so your medical is done you you've signed the contract what's your target now for the next 2 3 weeks how do you kind of get yourself embedded in this in this squad yeah, I can't wait. As I said, I can't wait to start the, the training to uh, to meet to meet the rest of the of the teammates, friends, and uh, yeah, I, of course, I'm I'm gonna need some time to to come into the training, and uh, yeah, but it won't take long. I hope so. And yeah, the season starts soon, so yeah, I have to be ready and fit. And what do you know about life in Manchester? You know, are you excited to discover this city and, and, and to learn a little bit about it and to, to go out and enjoy the nightlife and restaurants and all that kind of thing? Uh, I haven't heard a lot about the city, but uh, yeah, I believe I'm going to have enough time to, to, to enjoy the, the, the city with Matteo and, uh, and the rest of the guys. 
And City now are going for four Premier League titles in a row. That's never, ever been done in the history of English football. But what that means is every club is going to want to stop us. So how difficult is that going to be? And what kind of qualities do we need as a squad to make sure that we stay at the top and, and we keep winning? Yeah, I mean, if you talk about how hard it's going to be, I believe that every game is hard here. And uh, yeah, just every every day is a new challenge. Every day is a new opportunity to win something, to achieve something. So yeah, I believe for these guys out there, it's not it's not going to be that hard. They they know their qualities and they they're full of confidence. So I believe in them, and uh, hopefully we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna win it. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, thank you very much. Congratulations on the move, and good luck with your first season here. Thank you.